Nestled in the East Midland County of Lincolnshire, it first started 2,000 years ago as a Roman town called Lindum Colonia, which is actually translated to mean puddle colony. Boop! Actually, today Lincoln is a shining example of England's progress in human development. Taken into account inequality, Lincoln is among the highest countries to achieve human development, only trailing Norway, Australia, Sweden, Netherlands, Iceland, Ireland, Germany, Denmark, Switzerland, Slovenia, Finland, Canada, Czech Republic, Austria, Belgium, France, Spain, and Luxembourg. So if you don't live in those countries, England is a great place to go. Now I really must mention one important indicator of development found in Lincoln, which is shopping. And you know you're a developed country when this is how you socialize. These people are looking very developed. Now, even during weekdays, you see them coming out in droves and joining the bustling crowds of High Street. In the UK, the main street for shopping is almost always called High Street. And Lincoln's High Street is where you'll find its highest class of citizens shopping at its highest class of establishments. Like Greg's, or Starbucks, or even Primark. Here's something that's really interesting about this town. One thing is strange is that the people here don't have much respect for the dead. And so when you walk around town, it's pretty common to find gravestones on the walkway, or what they call the pavement. Here's one, for example, of a man named William Sear, aged 92 years. It's very strange, something you don't usually see. Now, if you follow High Street even higher up the hill, you'll be following the cobblestones of Steep Hill which was named the best street in Britain of 2012. You'll see many sites along the way, like the Jew's House, which is actually a restaurant and not racist at all. This was once a Jewish community, until the Jews were compelled to migrate in 1290. Further up the hill you'll find a multitude of English-style shops and the obligatory British flag banner. At the top of Steep Hill you're rewarded with a view of Lincoln's castle and famous cathedral or officially known as the Cathedral Church of the Blessed Virgin Mary of Lincoln. For over 200 years, it was the tallest building in the world. It's an architectural marvel with its really interesting flying buttresses and ribbed vaulting. It's massive and could fall apart at any moment, much like it has done in the past. How exciting. Finally, if you continue up the street, you'll find the Newport Arch. As a 3rd century Roman gate, it's the oldest arch in the UK still used by traffic. Unfortunately, it's had a run-in with a lorry or two over the years. Now here's something that's really interesting. That's the number 10. When you've had enough of Lincoln's incredible town centre and getting pissed in St. Peter's Passage, and if you've had too much of Much Lane, Hop in your car and hit the wrong side of the road to explore the exciting English countryside. You never know what wonders you might find. So if you're like me, you're going to love Lincoln. But if you're also like me, you'd rather go to Slovakia. Thank you.